Welcome back to another very long episode of countries you shouldn't go to when you hate particular things with, in this episode 50 countries. Before the video starts, I would like to thank you for the insane support on the first, and especially the second part of this series. I asked for a thousand likes and at the moment of making this video, it's 5,000. You guys are truly amazing. Also, if you'd like to learn more about geography, you can follow my second channel, Country Class, for more interesting videos about the world and countries. The link will be in the description if you'd like to check it out. Anyway, let's begin. Let's kick off with a fear of clowns. If you have cholerophobia, it's best to avoid Italy. Known for its rich history and cultural heritage, Italy is also the birthplace of the Commedia dell'arte, a form of theater that often includes clown characters. Keep your distance to preserve your peace of mind. If you're not a night owl and prefer a good night's sleep, a visit to the vibrant city of New York City might pose a challenge, as the city that never sleeps is known for its bustling nightlife and around-the-clock energy. If you're not a thrill-seeker, avoid New Zealand's adrenaline-pumping activities like bungee jumping and skydiving. If you dislike millionaires, don't go to Switzerland. Switzerland was the country with the highest rate of millionaires worldwide in 2021, with 16.4% of the adult population owning assets worth more than 1 million US dollars. Luxembourg followed right behind with 16.2% of the population being millionaires, with Iceland in third. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever walked into a forest at night without anyone else being there? Tell me honestly, did you look back multiple times while walking and did you start walking faster? Anyway, if you ever experienced this, don't go to Russia. They are home to 815 million hectares of forests. Forests there in the night look like this. It's like one dark, endless path you're walking then. For the next ones, let's take a look at some animals. If you dislike bears, you really shouldn't go to, well, again, Russia. They are home to 120,000 bears in total. Imagine walking in the woods at night knowing the amount of bears walking around there. If you hate bees, don't go to India. They are home to at least 12 million hives. This is how a hive looks like. You can imagine how many bees India has. If you have a fear of venomous animals, don't go to Mexico, which is home to 80 venomous species of animals. These are some of them. If you're scared of dogs, don't go to China. They have around 100 million dogs, and so there are at least 10 dogs per square kilometer. If you're scared of cats, however, you shouldn't go to the United States, where there are 76.5 million cats. If you're scared of birds, you shouldn't go to Italy, which has a bird population of around 12.9 million birds. And if you're scared of crocodiles, don't go to Australia, where there were at least 600 reports of crocodile attacks since 1985. If you dislike grown-ups for some reason, you shouldn't go to Monaco or Japan. The median age in these countries is 53.1 years old and 47.3 years. Now for the real night owls, Yuma in the United States is not a city for you. According to the World Meteorological Organization, Yuma, Arizona is the sunniest place on Earth. It has a total of 11 hours of sunlight in winter, and up to 13 in summer. This means Yuma experiences an average of 4,015 hours of sunshine per year. Moving on to the northernmost point of the United States, Barrow. This place is not a thing for people who dislike the opposite of the light, dark. Barrow can go two months without seeing any sunlight, because it's located just a few hundred kilometers from the Arctic Polar Circle. The place became famous thanks to the movie 30 Days of Light, where a group of vampires take advantage of its extended hours of darkness. Guys, let's talk about money. We all like to have as much as possible, or in the future, at least. Well, if you live in Sweden, you must be willing to give up 57.19% of your income as of 2019. So if you don't like paying tax, don't go to Sweden. As for the country, I would recommend it, because man oh man, it's beautiful. Anyway, if you hate long and endless tunnels, don't go to the tunnel between Lardal and Arlandsvingen in western Norway. It's the longest road tunnel with a length of 24.5 kilometers. The tunnel would probably hypnotize you, as it looks like this. If you hate skyscrapers or heights, don't move to China. They are home to 3,088 of them, with 102 over 300 meters. Moving on to those who despise spicy food, brace yourselves before considering a trip to Mexico. Mexican cuisine is renowned for its bold and fiery flavors, with chili peppers making frequent appearances in dishes. The heat level might be too much to handle for those with a low tolerance for spiciness. If you're not a fan of bustling crowds, avoid China's major cities like Beijing and Shanghai. These urban metropolises are teeming with millions of people, 21.7 million and 28.4 million. Now, if you have a fear of flying, it's best to skip New Zealand. 
This beautiful island nation is famous for its stunning landscapes, but getting there usually involves a long and often turbulent flight, which might heighten anxiety for those with aerophobia. Fun fact, did you know that New Zealand and Australia are actually not even close? On the map, it looks like they are almost neighbors. There are, however, 4,074 kilometers in between the two. Now, let's shift our focus to noise sensitivity. If you prefer peace and quiet, avoid India's cities like Mumbai and Delhi. These bustling urban centers are known for their constant noise, from honking cars and bustling markets to blaring horns and vibrant street life. I do, however, think India is a beautiful country, so don't exclude the country if you're going to travel. If you're not a fan of tropical climates, the Maldives may not be your ideal vacation spot. This tropical paradise is known for its breathtaking beaches and crystal clear waters, but the high humidity and sweltering temperatures can be challenging for those who prefer cooler, drier environments. For those who have a fear of heights, a visit to the Burj Khalifa in Dubai may not be the best idea. Standing as the tallest building in the world with a height of 828 meters, this architectural marvel offers breathtaking views from its observation deck. However, the sheer height might induce discomfort for those with acrophobia. Leave in the comments down below if you have a fear of heights. For individuals who dislike strong smells, avoid visiting the Durian Night Market in Malaysia. Durian, known as the King of Fruits, has a divisive aroma that some find offensive and repulsive. This popular night market is filled with stalls selling durian-based products, saturating the air with its distinctive scent. Now, if you're not a fan of crowded public transportation, it's best to skip Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo's metro system is notorious for its rush hour crush, with packed trains and bustling stations. If you're averse to extreme temperatures, visiting Death Valley in the United States should be off your list. Known as one of the hottest places on Earth, Death Valley regularly experiences scorching temperatures that can exceed 50 degrees Celsius. If you have a fear of snakes, it's advisable to avoid Costa Rica, a country known for its diverse snake population, including venomous species like the Fer de Lance. If you hate extreme humidity and tropical climates, skip a trip to Malaysia, where high humidity levels and hot temperatures prevail year-round. If you detest crowded beaches, don't head to the popular tourist destinations of Phuket and Pattaya in Thailand, where beaches can get overwhelmingly crowded. It looks like this. Yeah, that would certainly not be an option for me. Just like the beaches of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, which attract millions of people each summer. If you have a fear of thunderstorms, it's best to avoid Bangladesh, a country prone to frequent thunderstorms and heavy rainfall during the monsoon season. Uganda, however, is even worse. Uganda is the country that has the most thunderstorms. The northern Lake Victoria of Kampala in Uganda experiences the maximum number of thunderstorms at 242 days per year on average, compared to any other country in the world. Now, if you're averse to the smell of cigarettes and dislike being in smoky environments, countries like Greece and France, where smoking is still prevalent in public spaces, might not be your ideal choice. Just like Japan, Russia, and South Korea, where smoking in restaurants is still legal. If you have an aversion to high altitudes, a trip to Bolivia's capital, La Paz, situated at an elevation of over 3,600 meters, or 11,800 feet, might be challenging for those who struggle with altitude sickness. For individuals who dislike excessive noise pollution and traffic congestion, cities like Mumbai in India or Manila in the Philippines might not be the best fit given their reputation for chaotic urban landscapes. If you dislike the sensation of motion sickness, you might want to skip a boat ride in the choppy waters surrounding the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador, where the currents can make even the most seaworthy travelers feel a bit queasy. Galapagos Islands looks like this, by the way. It could be worth the sickness, to be honest. If you're not fond of wildlife encounters, you might want to reconsider a trip to South Africa, where you can come face to face with majestic yet intimidating creatures like lions, elephants, or great white sharks during safari adventures. Now for the people who have their driving license, you probably experience many annoying moments with cyclists, because they do whatever they want. If you hate this, don't go to the Netherlands, where there are approximately 21 million bikes for the almost 18 million people. Also, if you hate people who drive really fast, don't go to Germany, where some of the roads are not secured with a speeding limit. If you want to test your new car, the place is perfect as you can go 300 kilometers an hour if you'd like. If you hate watching over your shoulder for pickpockets all the time, don't go to Barcelona in Spain. Barcelona, Spain, 3,271 reviews mention pickpockets. Moving on to long waiting lines, if you don't like busy airports and long waiting lines, don't go to the United States, which is home to 20 of the 50 busiest airports followed by China, with 13 and Turkey with 3. Now there's something most of us hate, bullying. If you hate it, you shouldn't go to Austria, which has the highest reports of bullying, Estonia ranked 2nd. If you hate choosing a good restaurant, don't go to France. 
France has a total of 628 Michelin-starred restaurants, making choosing impossible. Now, this is not really a country, but if you're not really a Spanish-speaking person, don't go to South America. Just like you shouldn't go to North America if you have trouble speaking English. Oh, and by the way, don't go to France if you hate speaking French, or don't go to China if you can't speak Chinese. Just a tip, guys. Do whatever you want with it, and don't take this too serious, please. If you're scared of volcanoes, you shouldn't go to Indonesia. They are home to 13% of the world's active volcanoes. If you hate to see forest fire, you shouldn't go to Portugal, where there have been 13,261 forest fires in total. Lastly, if you have a fear of large bodies of water, it's best to avoid the Maldives. The vastness of the ocean and the deep sea surroundings might be overwhelming for those with thalassophobia. Well, that was the last and the longest part of the countries you shouldn't go to when you hate particular things. What kind of videos would you like to see next on the channel? Leave a comment down below to share your thoughts. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be part of the first 10,000 on the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next of Earth Basics.